Hey guys, what's good? Your favorite team is back to dish out the biggest entertainment stories. Dissect and also analyze them for you. If it's big enough, it makes it to this table. And if it's not, we do not bother. Here, I've got the full score with me today because the queen is back. Yeah, um, I would have called you the queen of all queens, but I have the queen of all queens, and then every woman is the queen of all queens, so I cannot just introduce you as the queen of So I have my queens with me, Ife Omai and Nima. How you guys doing? I'm Hello. good. Hi. Man, you guys are true queens. Oh, you're looking Stop so it. nice. Oh. What's the white and black going on, though? You didn't notice, right? Mine isn't black, though. Navy blue. Mm. What's that? If I is colorblind. Navy blue. <laughs> Navy blue? Okay. But <laughs> it's black now. It's, 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 it's gelling. It's gelling. It's gelling with the set. Mm. Our hey. fine set. Hmm. <laughs> All right. But you guys look beautiful. Thank Nima, you. Nima, where have you been? You know where I've been. Why do you always ask? Mm -hmm. What's no, wrong? The what is, is wrong for, with you? For, for, for our viewers to know the viewers now. Know. No, the what if you always ask what, this what question? If you, what if she's on to discuss where she's been to the viewers? But you're looking very fresh. Oh, you? stop it, Ife. Which money you chop? You hardly compliment me when you do, just, you know. That is such a lie. Ife compliments you all <laughs> day, every day. After we're especially, done with this, Ife is always savage. Yeah, true. He's, only, he's whining the audience now. You have to change. And then what you said about her, your last compliments, that when she goes away, and then she comes back. She's always on a on her low cut, not on the week. Yeah, see, that's Actually. so true. So every time you go away, you just come back with this new hmm. look. And then the undergrowth is so beautiful. Because, oh, thank you so much. Because it's happening to me too, and then people are like, "Oh, I like it." You're getting emotional. Huh? <laughs> you feel like this is all in our feelings. Mm. I'm getting emotional as well from all this. Mm. No. Yeah, they only, and if you're my most compliment, you know, yesterday, yeah, so I had the privilege and opportunity to drop if I my at home yesterday. <laughs> so when I was, I was just looking through my review mirror and I was looking at your dreads and the way I was getting into bombs, knowing the type of way I drive, <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. bouncing and bouncing. Like, oh, look at this girl. I was looking at you like, oh, more I said it bounce. Because I remember when you started this journey. Oh, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks so shake it, shake it, girl. Shake it, shake it, shake it, small. Just it. Ah, no, you, you mocked me. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Thanks, oh my. So beautiful. I not say flick it. You're not wearing it bone straight. Shake it. Yeah, You want to use me to do catch another bone straight episode? It's not me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you know what happens on this show, yeah? We we'll always have trending videos for you guys, and look, let's look at the first trending video for today. I've seen the video before, but I've never seen the ending. I'm wondering, the girl was moving in the cardboard, like, why don't you just stay still? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it>. Like, why don't you just... I think it's staged. It, uh, do, you, do you feel like it's scripted? Yeah, I feel like it could be scripted, but it was... Scripted. very. Hmm? Mm, nah. You don't think it was scripted? No. You think it was a man that was... Yeah, you know, you know that half of the things on the internet these days are scripted, like... 
Because something More like that half. can happen, though. Uh, okay. But it happened. It I'm actually going happens. To put the name on that right now. Ah. It actually happens. Okay. It happens a lot. You find people, they, they get them that they're cheating and they'll find a way to hide or jump out or do something stupid. I'm not the bed. I have a true life story. The story now help. Wait, before for, you say you're super No, nah, I'm not going to say um, it. <laughs> Which one is super? Why did you ask? Be, okay, sorry. Before you say your story, you think it's not scripted and then the people on the road that had nothing to do with it now help her. There was not one box that was placed there that fits human size. And then she now got on the, and the box already placed upside. Guys, come on! Like, do you have any in any like influencer friends? Because these people <coughs> stage very like um, <coughs> real life looking things for clouds. This <coughs> thing gave me comedy scripted vibes. Let's talk Those about Terry Bala. Yeah. That's why I was coughing. Yeah, but if you not laugh mm. when you I mean, watch it, I don't know. Hmm? you know what? You not laugh when you watch. Did you it. laugh? No, I didn't. It wasn't funny. Uh, because if you find anything funny, me, nothing funny. Nothing, no, nothing, funny nothing was me. funny about me, it. I, no, me, I thought it was like... I'm like, okay. A man that was just caught. And is he a See, little man? He has a little man. It's not a little man. It's the guy a little man. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's the guy a little man. Uh-uh. He's a dwarf, isn't it? But he fitted the balcony now. So the balcony was very short. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. Like we're talking over the yeah, balcony. I don't know why people do that. Like that's I think that's now a new pet peeve. Like um small balconies. I don't know if you've ever been on a small balcony. Like the balcony mm -hmm. can very, you now be what wrong. the heck what no. what is that? <laughs> Especially with people is. like us. <laughs> Can I just tilt over? <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, it's, in fact, if it's anybody at this point, because it's so little, I think it was in Chevron that I saw something like that. I'm like, I ah, know Chevron. Like, wow, who built this thing that your balcony is stopping at my knee? And I'm so uh, sure, like, understand. it's so dangerous. Anyway, Sha. Whatever. Honestly. But at the end of the day, right? No, I think you guys should go on. Just go on. Well, I finished the conversation. If you let's look at our next video, I'll be. We want us to hail oh, the, right the little man. Hail the, the little man. We want us to hail the <laughs> the uh, girl chasing the, the, the little, little man. Where the woman. I don't. I'm not going to be the woman. Please. I can never be the woman. Can never be the woman. But I won't chase you, sir. I, what exactly, nonsense! I can never be the woman. The fact that you're even on that cardboard, you are shameless. Why am I chasing somebody? I don't shout next to me. They are to suspect that you are never seen in one place. Under the car, then I'm beginning to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, let's see our next trend in video. In this type of situation, Nima, I'm starting with you. What would you do? I would pack it for the man in his bag. What do you take me for? No, I'm a woman of integrity. No, I just wanted you to be the first to go. If I am I, what will you course. do? Of course, not from a blind man. Uh uh. Even though he can sure. even, uh, he can see. I mean, if he could see this situation. But what do you guys think about the guy who took the money it. and the bag? Huh? They didn't just take the... Okay, so wait, let me ask now. Do you think it's scripted or not? No, this it's not scripted. Okay, no. because now... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. If you're all mine. I'll tell the two of you outside. Uh, let me just see. No, no this, this one is scripted. It's so obvious. Your, uh -uh. Of course. Really? But it is the reality. Now what? That a blind man now, carries bags I know full of, of money. Tips. I know a story about a man that was in no shoddy. Right? That was a beggar. It was a fake beggar. Mm. Mm. And then somebody came... And so because this guy was blind, could take money from him. But Omo Baba chisam, 
At that time, everybody knows hey, it. about the sea. I know there are many imposters. <laughs> like, there are a lot. Many. There are a lot. Especially in Lagos. But what do you guys think about beggars? Do you, do you, do you just show them sympathy, empathy, or anything? Like, depends on the day you catch me. What about the people that now hire children just to beg on the streets of Lekki? They don't have a face now. We don't know the difference. All I know that sometimes I'll just see children on the road. No, there are some that carry No, the ones that carry babies. babies have you not seen that around. post yeah, that said... It's not all of them that are rented now, is it? Not so you, all of them. No, have you seen that which, post yeah, that exactly. they said... Um, be careful with your maids, right? The moment you go to work, they carry your children and then they give to somebody. Side hustle. Mm. Uh, side hustle. <sighs> two hours. Madam, now only two hours you get to carry this picking go. When you come at two hours, please return them or I'll come collect them for junction. Whoa. We'll use your child <laughs> to make beg. And then the child oh, cannot speak. Oh, a baby, a baby. A baby. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting it now? No. Like, it's mm -hmm. really crazy. Anyways, guys, we have a top trending video, and let's see that. Mom versus Dad. Bobby. Bobby. Mom versus. Bobby. Big shout out to every woman out there. Big shout out to every mother. Big shout out to every woman who has been there for a child. Big shout out to every woman who is expecting a child. Big shout out to every woman, you know, who has, you know, the joy to be a mother someday. Because at the end of the day, when you look at these kids and the love for them, I know the type of love I have. Daddy, 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 go. Daddy, 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 go. Daddy, 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 go. I'm putting go at the Like, let mommy come. I love my father so much, but... I think, um, you know, there's just that connection, that connection yeah. with mothers, That's especially. The time, there are some babies that love their dads more. Uh, my cousin right now. I got now, you guy now. No. <laughs> <laughs> my, my cousin right now, it's a boy. Um... His first word was Dada, which was so weird. Cause no, that's every baby's first word. No. Most babies actually say Dada first. Uh -uh. Doesn't mean they're more attached to the guys. Yeah. This argument was so deep that we actually... They, this statistics was brought out on this. And this my, my cousin was telling me... Mama. How, like, so mama is the most like no. universal word, mm -hmm. and that most, most people, people start their words with mama. Is that that? Um, it's actually mama. Is but that I mean, no check, we don't, don't. I don't know the statistics. As in, the, she does not check the statistics, and she said mama. So Except you, you, you check, and you've seen that before. Have you checked? Argue. I said the person that brought hey, statistics you, to me. Have you checked? Oh lord. That person may not be as smart as you know. How about that? Take a deep breath. <laughs> I put out. <laughs> anyway, um, it's possible that you, it's not all, all the time that people are bonding with their uh, more closer to their dads actually, um, mm. their moms actually. Like it's not. All, I mean, it's obviously because they're the ones that raise you and you of bond course. with them and sit mm. with them and they breastfeed. Yeah. It's more of it's more common. But mm. a lot of the times you actually see, especially with the girl child now, that mm. they're actually quite closer to. They I don't know for some reason the love that girl childs share with their dads a bit mm -hmm. like strong and stuff like that so i don't and i and, and again I, I, I wanted to say something else because i've seen this video on, on um instagram and i know in the comment section people were saying uh dads were saying that they feel bad they don't know why da, da, da. And i think it's it's not actually this thing is not very sustainable like the girl will have phases in life or the boy looks like a boy 
Yeah, and where he'll be closer to his mom at some period and then his dad and then none of them and there's not anybody in their business. The point is just be there for your child. It's not competition. I feel like it's because like the dad is usually stricter than the mom. If you notice like in most homes hey, hey, the no, dad my house, so. No, in no well, I mean, in most homes, the dad is actually the strict one. Isn't it like Your mom is only going to approach or more. They're less present. I think it's because less they're less present, present. They're stricter. Your mom is there. Your mom is in the kitchen. See she's finish. cooking. Yeah. Exactly. See, finish now makes it makes it look like she's more approachable. So I yeah. feel like that's normal that for yeah. you for you to be born with your she's mom more. She's natural. Like it's very obvious. But then there's some people. There's some men that are very good with their kids. True. And then they're you the know, women they, are now the ones that are yeah, detached. Yeah, it it's happens. crazy. It really happens. Hmm. Well, for me, man, I just want to say big shout out to all the women out there. No, you know, easy to bomb picking, no, I bet. Big shout out to all you guys, you know, the ones that are going to carry babies, the ones that have carried babies, the ones that even have grandchildren. You know, big shout out to all the women out there. We love you guys. All right, so we're moving into the business of the day. And of course, it's on our first story, which is on Brimo. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Update. All right, you're not here yesterday. So, latest revelation about this um, first relationship with Two Faced the Beer has sparked conversations amongst Nigerians and celebrities. According to OAP Dotun, his colleague Daddy Freeze was wrong for picking sides in the latest celebrity rift. Freeze, you are, he wrote, Freeze, you are already taking sides. Find out from both parties first. If you said it, if you said it differently, fair enough, but don't suddenly take sides, he said. Sometimes being trapped with the truth um, feels tough, but let us all be careful when it comes to this type of issues. Peace. It will be recalled that um, Brimo called out to face the behalf for physically assaulting him and accusing him of sleeping with his wife and Adibia. Nima, let's go first. Hmm. Okay, so when I saw this story, I've actually been following it on Instagram. Yeah. Um, the first time I saw it, I was like, Daddy Free should not have said the thing what? he said, the way he said it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. um, that what you thought? Yes. He shouldn't okay. have said it like that. Well, that what you thought too. He no. shouldn't have said it like right, that. So, so I feel like everyone sh should be entitled to say what they want to say and yeah. to live in their truth. Whether he comes, as I said, everybody has a coping mechanism. Some people might not post on social media what they feel or what they what is hurting them. But if someone wants to post on social media and say what is hurting him, whether it happened 10 years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years, he can post it. Because, I mean, why? It's his truth. He wants to say what is wrong, what happened between him and two Faced. Why won't he? Kicking a man when he's down. What? I mean, kicking a man what? Kicking a man, kick a man when he's down. down. That's what... Um, what? Kicking Bottom. a man when he is no, down. No, I heard you, that's but what? That's what freeze is. That's yeah. what that, um, freeze... For, for, that, Daddy that freeze. freeze. <laughs> so that Daddy freeze is insinuating that. Why this wait, Why this timing? Because, okay, so the reason... Okay, so what you, what you said um, about, like, telling your, telling your feelings and your truth yeah. on social media, whatever, whatever. Absolutely, I agree. But then at the same time, that's the more reason why we also have a, I have a right to say what we want to say about what you've said. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, mo the, the same way um, Brimo has every right, I think that Freeze has every right because you brought it to public opinion mm -hmm. and he gave you his public opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and his public opinion is that it's not perfect timing. And the reason why I'm going to lean towards Daddy Freeze is because, mm -hmm. one, I didn't see any urgency to his comments. There was, yeah. nothing, there was nothing that was like, no, oh, the, um, 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 Two Face has not done something to me and I cannot take it anymore. Da, 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 da. So it's kind of weird that the one time you want to bring up something that happened years ago is when the, man is when is the down. guy is actually trending on social media for like many and many issues it not yeah, also it like so you are you are what kicking the man when he's down people mm. now want to now link it mm. because i love my people on social media mm. everybody now brought it to the fact that this guy just dropped two albums two here. albums come on now we're not stupid Brian. nine the red one no. nine black right and then you now want to now bring up this topic of course when we are checking if I type Brimo right now, he's bringing out his album as well. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that he's using it as a PR strategy. It's a cloud. Absolutely. It's not a PR. It's cloud it's, it's, chasing. No. It's cloud as in sense that Two-Face is, two face is trending person. now. And it's trending for the wrong reasons. And I have all these things that he's done against me, which is very possible. So listen, I'm not saying that. Two-Face is trending now. Because if, why didn't you say when Two-Face was not trending? 
Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. Two-Face is trending now for all the wrong reasons about blah, 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 blah and he did this to his wife and mm. he didn't do this to his wife. Mm. He's sleeping with his ex, mm. blah, 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 whatever. Okay, cool. And then I'll add to the to the pile of dirt that he already has on well, to say that he... Ended. It hasn't really... It has. We've uh, stopped talking about no, it. No, just because you stopped talking about it doesn't mean it has... It has, it has I mean, it's, you know it's you died down, though. Back with Annie. We don't know that. But so we have stopped talking about it. It's not yeah, like not about him. If you don't have to talk about the man's happiness. No. Yes. If no. he wanted to use it as a PR strategy to, okay, um, chase clout or whatever, he would have talked about it like last two weeks when it was hot. When Two Face was on fire. Okay, what, not what, after what the fire has okay, gone down. What oh, fire has gone exactly. down? Exactly. Like, what are you saying? Because oh, fire what, has when really you, gone down. Like, this guy's birthday was just recently. Two Face's birthday yeah. was recently. Everybody's eyes are still on Two Face and 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 Annie Come as on. to whether or not they are, they're going to say happy birthday to Vimo each other. If they're going to whatever, whatever. So it's not like as if no, it's some ages ago thing. So it's not again. It's not that what's it called? Um, and I want you to stay with us on this one. It's not like as if no was saying that he doesn't have a right to feel the way he feels because. Say, say, say what he, he wants feels. to say, yeah. yes, but he that, that the freeze has every right to say, Bro, this is your timing, it's suspicious because it can be. Because you cannot eradicate the fact that Brian Moore can possibly have bad intentions for this guy. But Daddy Freeze is actually taking sides. How is because he, sides? he, he just said, no, he, he just said that. the he timing is, is not right. He didn't even look at what Brymo was saying. Do you understand? He's already already he's already defending. Yeah, he's already um, seen what Brymo was saying. Now Brymo was telling you that the timing was not right. I don't understand. Daddy Freeze never I went know. against he, what Brymo said. No, I want you to actually explain it to me properly. About what? I've seen this thing on social media several times when you said that Daddy Freeze was taking sides. I don't see anything in this guy's write up that says. Two Face did not do what he, what this guy is saying that he did, and that he did Brian Moore is. So like, what is what exactly no. are you like? He what is it? Talk about the message. He's saying the timing is right. How, how do you tell someone when to express how they feel? Why is the timing right? Mm -hmm. How do we know that Two Face will not enter another problem next week? How do we know he will enter another problem next month? Because when he was not in another problem two weeks ago. You do not know what will happen from now. Are you, okay. the, are you a prophet? Let me let me let me ask. Let me ask. So will he now keep quiet because? Let me face my enter problems next week. I don't week, even know if I should ask this month, question because next two months. I don't know if you'll be they biased. Don't I don't know if you'll be biased about they it. But happy. if you can try not I'm to be sorry, biased I'll about about fast. about this conversation, okay. the fact that I want to ask you a question now yeah. and try and not be biased, okay? Because okay? I know you're really on your I'm, point. I'm but, away from Brian Moore. Okay, I'm not a Brian All right. for now. Okay, okay. Cool. so um, mm -hmm. do you think that there's any that there's any right for me to feel suspicious about the fact that Brian Moore is bringing up weight one at a time? Yeah, we are talking one at a time. All right, please go on. I know we got the one. Hey. Oh. Do you think that there is anything? There's anything worse um, that I have a right to say that Brymo is suspicious because nothing recent happened. One and that also um, Two Face is right now spewing in controversy. Do you think that that kind of connection in general is suspicious? Okay, it is in general. In general, I agree, with you guys. In that general, one. it's. Because in general. Let, let's, let's give an example of like people yeah. who, who do this rapes like like let's say God forbid let me use somebody we know but let's just uh, a Adams comes out they, they accuse Adams on Twitter that he's he um, Eve. Eve that he raped Eve right yeah. and then other people come out now and start saying even if they raped even if they had an experience with Adam ages ago yeah. I understand that that makes sense. Like you're saying, oh yeah, that, that happened to me too. I suspect, I, I believe her because he was a creep when I saw him or da 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 da, -da. Just you know I'm trying to say that that makes sense. But then now imagine that you're bringing up, two, do you see the dates of what Parma was talking about? 2012. 2012. 2015. Then the last time that him and Brymo ever spoke to him, him and two ever spoke to each other was 2017. Why 2021? Uh, why are you losing sleep over anyway, that? Yeah, like, see, Nima, Nima hmm. has a stand, and I understand it, right? Like, I actually understand you guys' stand. I understand, well, no, I understand, understand has to, that everyone has a right to say what they want to say. And I like Whenever I, they feel I like also it. like that. Exactly. The only thing I can say that I liked about the Dotuns and the others, and I guess Nima's, is that there's also a sense of protection for Brymo because for victims. for victims and I like that mindset because we need to have that especially mm -hmm. when we're talking about a celebrity because it's not that we're saying that oh it, it can start to look like you're saying why are you talking about somebody that's important because don't person, make him look yes. bad so I understand mm -hmm. that concept but that doesn't mean that because you are a victim I've always said it's that if you want to come on social media, whether or not you're a victim or not a victim, you have to face the consequences of that. And you have to face the um, interrogations, the, the scrutiny of what you're saying, because the gravity of what you're saying is deep. 
Because at the end of the day, we tell rape victims it's never too late to come out. But this is not a rape this case. This is not a rape case. No, this no, is quite no, no. different. This is very, this is very flimsy. This is very flimsy because the guy is saying this On guy. That note, wait, so is wait, flimsy. Because, Phil, my. Let me tell you why it's flimsy. This guy uh -uh. said that he doesn't know whether or not Two Face is attacking him because he said he was the greatest of, of all artists. Did you read that part? I read it. it see, that's not silly to you. It's not it, and that's in Baimo's head. That is the greatest of all time. Baimo is the greatest in of all time. In Baimo's head, he thinks that Two Face no, is no, obsessed no, Nima, with Baimo. Is I mean, Baimo the greatest I mean, he, he, he's good in no, his own that's lane. Not, that's no, not the no, question. That's the greatest of all time. time. I mean, that's we all know that that's no, 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 like... The silliness of it is that you think that Two Face is obsessed with you for thinking that you are the greatest of all time. Are you joking with me? Sister, please. But me, I have only one question. What's the question? Is Baimo the greatest of all time? You feel my, that's for you. No, if Brahma believes that he's the greatest of all time, then he's he the greatest is. of all time. He's probably the greatest of all. Thank you for your answer. He he's is the greatest the of all time. He is the greatest yeah. of all time. <laughs> Oluwa Baimu, we shout out to you. Anyway, Baimu is not a small boy though. Let's not let's not cap. No, very talented. Very talented. Very talented. Um, I think he's really up there in terms of talent. Industry. Just on the, and just composition, a, yeah, music. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's totally he's underestimated. Understand. Very good. He's, he's, he's not underrated. underrated. He's not underrated. He's a nonsense boy because he had rape allegation and all those things behind him. No. So it's very hard to support. Uh -uh. It's true. That, you don't I, think nah. rape allegations affected Baimu? Nah, Let me tell you that I'm a living proof that it affected Brimo. Because I, of course, I won't follow him. Are you joking? Someone ah. like speaking, um, um, what's Wala. it called? He's singing about it in his songs. Singing about, about um, conversation. Yeah, no, 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 not clitoris. <laughs> he was singing about, there was a line that he, people, people brought up all sorts of stuff about him during that period. Because you know me, I, I was sick I mean, but people bounce stuff. back from stuff like that. So why hasn't he bounced up? Like, Who's bounced back? I want to know. I mean, rape. I just want to know. One person. Bolo. Who's Bolo? Who's Bolo? Exactly, who's Bolo? That's Bolo. the point. That's Bolo. the Bolo, Bolo. In fact, we don't know Bolo, don't so know he hasn't been answered. Yes, I think that's the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's not important. Anyways, man, <laughs> Squid Game may be Netflix's first Korean language blockbuster to get worldwide buzz on to becoming the streamer's most watched show in history. <laughs> in history, guys. Hmm. Squid Game. Okay. All right. Um, but no one wanted to make it for over a decade, not even Netflix. The show creator, writer, and director, Wang Dong Nyong. <laughs> my guys, I said I was going to do my research, and I actually did it. I know the right pronunciation, but I want you guys to actually say it. I just do this. Wang Dong Huh? Why do you not laugh? That's racist. Hey. No, I'm laughing. You laughed now. You said Wang Dong Nyong, and then you hey. laughed. No. You feel like we're not our word racist. That's hard too. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. One. Okay. Is one yon yon. No. If Oh, yeah. Call it now. I don't know. But that's all. I said one yon yon. Huh? One yon yon. You said different things every time you said it. One dong yon. Okay. Is what I called as a Nigerian. But it's one yon yon. Okay. One yon yon. Okay. Ah. If One yon yon. <laughs> okay, and um, he recently spoke to the Korean Times about the challenges he encountered in funding the blockbuster drama and how it took 10 years to get a nod from Netflix. What? All right, so in this quote, yeah, after about 12 years, the world has changed into a place where such peculiar, violent survival stories are actually welcomed. Hmm. Originally titled Round 6, the project got greenlighted by the streaming platform in 2019. Don't y'all. Don't y'all. Just see the director. Eh? The director, okay. Okay, so the director came up with a story in 2008. <laughs> If, I was saying, if this was a Chinese TV station that said, If a Oluwa Oshuke, ha ha ha. If a Oluwa Oshuke, ha ha ha. If a Oluwa Oshunki, ha ha ha. Do you know how much dragging that show would carry? I'm not with you people, though, please. Why are you dragging? Direct it. If a is alone in this. I'm just saying. Hey, Judas, I will. Hey, it's not in Jesus that will be chained. Me and you, that we will die there. At least for the sake of our yeah, die. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Donya 
came up with the story in 2008 while living with his mother and um, grandmother, but with no one interested and in job scars. He was compelled to sell his laptop for $675, mm -hmm. thereby hailing the script development. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I just want to just say one thing. There's only one thing I want to say, and I'm not going to talk after I make this point right, is that... Ah, mm? ah please stop. <laughs> eh? Mm? You, do you know where you are? Do you know where you're saying? No, I'm not going to talk because so, do you know how long the one thing I want to say would take? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, the only thing I'm going to say is you never know when is your time. Mm. Never give up on your dreams. Keep pushing. Okay, one thing. I don't think I'm you. Three points. Keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And... Have a perfect timing for what you want to put out there. Now, a lot of people approach brands, right? And they approach them with what they don't need at the moment. And then the moment the brand tells you, all right, we'll get back to you, they start calling out the brand and say, oh, I'm, I'm an influencer, I'm this, I'm this, and this brand didn't want to work with me. And when you're writing your success story, did you approach that brand when they needed your service? People do not understand the power. So do you understand? Mm? Yeah. Of timing. Mm. Yeah. If I did not understand, I would not be sitting on this table with okay. you. Oh, okay, PK! Eh, eh, okay. Eh, 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 eh. Mm. Hello, sir. Where you going? Eh? Okay, PK. You go back. I think it is extremely interesting for me. Like, it's, it's so, like, my mind cannot comprehend why Netflix. violence is something that... Netflix thinks we are we want to see in 2019 mm. and not 10 years ago. Mm. I want to know. That's for me. Like I want I really would trade quite a lot to enter that meeting, hear their conversations 10 years ago and mm. now and what they think the psychology of users mm. because do you know what I'm trying to say? like it's so com like why do you think that we are prepared for such because this thing is heavy violence. Yeah. It is some mm. <laughs> some like extreme. I think, okay, so violence. maybe if I'm, me say you were going to say one thing. Hey, I'm joking. I, I'm doing it. If I'm to be the mouthpiece for Netflix, Netflix on this one, and it says though, so that the world has actually experienced in the past two years. Oh yeah. Hmm. Now, a lot of people have fought for life. Do you understand? They've actually said COVID. Hold up. Okay. We've actually seen COVID-19 survivors. We've actually seen people that went through sorry times, especially... 19. If they, gave, they, uh, they approved in 19. They approved in 2019. Yes, so now that, that was... That was before COVID. COVID started in 2020. 2020. Yes, mm. 2020, 2019. February. That was and the launch It's called launch COVID-19 the because it was 2019. Mm? Eh? It's called COVID-19 because it was 2019. No, that's not why it's called COVID-19. Okay. 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 Hey, don't even argue with me on this one. I worked on the COVID-19 report, so I know what I'm saying for well, a fact. It didn't start in It didn't start in that, in that way. I mean, it launched... COVID-19, the 19 stands for 20. But did it... December 2019. Okay, that, that, that in itself already well, disproves it became so that public. Was end, that was the end of the thing. It really, like, you see... Um, Why Wuhan, is not COVID-2020 then? Wuhan, Wuhan's, um, whatever was it, maybe, yeah, maybe started in 2019, December. December. But it really launched globally when we started hearing, oh, March. this weird... It was March. March. It was The fact March, that you heard is. about it in Nigeria in March... No, it started worldwide. in China. Yes, yes that's what I was saying. saying that December was in China, but for it, for when it got global, global like, like uh -uh. Became a it's big, about after global. Came, Do you know how many people let died me, in, let, in let China me, in 2019? Let me, you, let me ask you a question because you're trying to be difficult. Was COVID 19 a, go, a global pandemic in, in I mean, December? Was COVID 19? Like 2019. In, yes, was global, um, COVID 19 a global pandemic in 2019? Do you guys realize? Do you guys realize? Answer the question. Answer the question. I'm, no, I'm, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm going to answer. I promise you that I'm going to answer your question. It's very simple. Say yes or no. Do you guys realize that this is a Korean movie? This is a movie that has... Netflix a... approved it. Korea and China. Uh, the Netflix same. is the one that approved it. Netflix did not approve something to go on its site but just Korean for one country. Chi Korea and China, they're the same. They're not yeah, the same. No. So why are you saying... But do you know they're brothers? You know, they're... they're actually, they hate each other. They're not brothers. They hate each other. Because they, 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 they look alike. <laughs> no, do you know that they are close to each other? They are not, as in how? 
Anyway, please. Sorry. What I took away from this movie is the fact that the director was determined, and this just reminds me about the Queen's Gambit. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen that, oh, the chess player and all. The um, the director too had issues. He had years of pending. People are like, ah, uh-uh, who would sit down and watch a a woman? What? Hmm? Okay. <laughs> who would sit down and watch a the movie about chess? Thing, yeah. I said, um, let's 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 not finish. Let's not put spoilers. Some people don't change the channel. I hate spoilers with my life. What, what episode I are you on? Yes, please. Sorry, continue. All right. Okay. Um, the writers and they have str- they struggled. Okay. <laughs> so the director of Queen's Gambit was like, like he kept on going to studios and pushing and. He was like, people were like, who would watch this kind of movie? And then finally, Netflix approved. Um, in a about. week, Queen's Gambit. Gambit. In a chess week, chess the chess movie. movie. But you've seen it on Netflix. Uh-uh. That girl. Oh, you okay. should see it. In a week, that movie had 62 million viewers. I would, right? I think you will so. love it. It's a bit slow. Is it intellectual? Actually, it is. It's intellectual. It's more yeah, intellectual than entertaining, though. Then I'll love yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I feel like it's just the same, like in the same line with Squid Game. That was even harder because, that, as you said, it's intellectual. Yeah, people, sure. people can't relate to intellectual, but they had 62 million viewers in a week. Yeah. For sure. So I mean, Squid people Game. Love ch- I- chess is one of the most um, addictive. Uh, even I don't know what it is about chess because I don't addictive. I did, it, it did not catch. It, chess is one of those games that became. Um, even in this movie, this ch- this gambit that you're talking about, narrated how the history of chess, chess and everything. Yeah. There's books about it. There's not a lot of games like that. That there's books. But there's a small population there is, um, that actually like can be addicted but, to it because many people don't have this the, the what, intellect for it. Yeah, but there is an obsession that we haven't when seen. When you have, when you yeah, can play. Yes, but not not like there is with um, what's it called Mo- Monopoly or oh, Ludo. Yeah, there's something yeah. about the game. Maybe I'm not that explaining keeps you it going. well. There's something about I the get, game that's I like get. super deep. Like mm-hmm. it draws them. Even the girl in the movie was like that. So I feel like. The thing I'm taking away, the lesson I'm taking away is that you should never give up. Like Ifeth said, you should keep being like determined. That's what I wanted pushing. to say. That's what I'm, I wanted to interrupt because yeah. I know I sound like a pessimist, pessimist, and maybe I am, but that's such a like every writer's story. You, um, this girl, the black girl that just won that thing, um, even um, what's it called? What's that one that were the olden days people with the white girl? I mean, the black with the white girl and the black guy that was really popular. Please, let's remember. I remember that. Ah! Uh, the one about like they you know they wore their olden days kini now everybody talking about the steamy love that they had between them oh. they were traveling everywhere yeah, and there's the like road, the, the, the idea was that. about like you would there was a writer the writer would now was a gossiper in the town Bridget, 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 Bridgerton 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 that's Bridgerton. good okay. Bridgerton yeah, and what's, her, what's the writer's okay, name yeah. the same person that wrote um, I mean all these movies most writers see, have that struggle most. like Mm-mm. This movie, we can see something different. Not everybody, has, no, no, everybody yeah. has like not everybody this has issue. Has no, but even the upper reef has the same story. That's what I'm saying. It's no, I'm everyone. talking about Tyler Perry right now. You just didn't catch in terms yourself. of movies, <laughs> all these movies have something in common. They are all different. Squid Game no, what, what, is different. Okay. Queen's Gambit no, what, what is different. Bridgerton is different. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying so, that they're the same. I'm saying that you're, you're, what you were saying about, about pushing. Like the, yeah, like most writers are like that because it's it, how many movies can go on? Uh, I mean, Nigeria, how many writers are there Nigeria in the world? They all the struggle. Same. I mean, like Nigeria. Would, would you ever write a movie? Oh, oh, would you ever that. write a movie? In Nima? the same vein, guy. Like Nima, movie, would you ever write a movie? No. Yeah, true. Maybe not in the same vein. If I would you ever write a movie? We make movies that are so acceptable yeah, yeah it's not yeah, out yeah. of the box like yeah. these are movies that are out of the box yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Fair, uh-uh. true, true. anyways <laughs> guys um look out for my biopic hey. yes um yes um if you know a movie will be written my last about. question before we move on from, hey. from this thingy please okay um if you were if you found yourself in the first batch of squid game hmm. people and then the first game happened and everybody died and whatever you managed to survive and then they now voted that everybody should leave. I'm spoiling this if you haven't seen it. Um, a little bit, just small. And then, you know, they said, okay, we'll go back to our houses. And then if we want to come back, we'll decide and then come back. Would you have gone back to that? No. Okay, so if you watch Squid no. Games, right, it's a very tough decision. Hmm. If they it's leave. It's not that tough. Life or death. Tough for... No, if they leave, they'll still die. A lot of them were in debt. Do you understand? So even in the real world. Even me as I am, I'll still die. Even in the real world. They were wanted. So being there, is either you go back there and die. So you would have gone back. You would have gone back to the game. 
Oh, but because me, I'll kill everybody. I'll push all of you, plus you, plus you, plus you. Hey. I push everybody, plus the cameraman in the studio. I push you. That's plus. something. That's something that I found that was a bit flawed in the story yeah. because this guy, the main character guy, was really forming emotions and moral standards. Yeah. But my guy, you knew it was a death game. Yeah. So you carried your phone yeah. and called them and went back yeah. into the game to kill more people. Please. And for me. No, oh me. my God. Yeah. Why are you killing? So Why are you dying? So are you okay, okay sir? I'll, because... I'll push Lawal, I'll push Nima, mm. I'll push Efeo okay. Maya, I'll push everybody and I'll be the winner. Anyways, hey. guys, let's go on a quick music <laughs> break so you don't remember what I just said. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Mustard. Yes, yes, big shout out to Tenny. I think Tenny is coming back. Yeah, I think yeah, so she is. You think so, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she's coming back. Something she lost it for a while. Life, yeah. Okay. Having this with these guys here, yeah, maybe because I know they're a bit closer, mm. I feel like something spiritual actually has to happen to the artist for them to blow. I, I know it sounds crazy, and I don't mention any names, so I don't feel like I'm opening people's yeah. kidney, but I've seen. Um, friends, artists, yeah, that when I meet them, like, remember when I first came back last year, whatever, just hot messes, bad attitude, whatever, and then they go through something, something, you know, that's not just me, yeah, and then, they, they, I don't know, they just, when their hearts and their mind change in their mm, personal life, two people, yeah. it, it, you see, you know, they start yeah. getting hits, they hmm. start, whatever, whatever, okay, I can mention one name, because I think, I think he's been open about it himself, which is Buju, like, Buju would tell you that, yeah. um, whatever, like, you know, before, this boy's attitude was swelling, and, so, and then, I don't know, I think it was after his girlfriend and him had that whole, like, physical mm. abuse, whatever, whatever, I don't think he saw, I don't think he knew that he had that in, in, in him to be that ugly and stuff, and he just changed, and as I soon think, as he changed, his songs too, it's almost like the, it's almost like we don't know, but we are aligned with his change, like, university and then yeah. just connected with it i think music is actually very quite spiritual yeah. mm -hmm. and then the I moment you're that. able mm -hmm. to bring your personal life into Dude. your music mm -hmm. right and there are a thousand and one people going through what you're going through at the moment mm -hmm. and your story is an inspiration to somebody mm -hmm. so the moment you've gone through something and you're able to put in your music Everybody hey. begins to feel like, oh, how am I can relate? Music is spiritual. Yeah. I listen yeah. to some songs and I'm crying. Trisha. Yo, you have Trisha. goosebumps. What song have you ever listened to that made you cry? Mm -mm. Billy Eilish. There's a song Ocean now. Eyes. There's a song now that every time I listen to it, my heart is just heavy. Which um, song? And it's Why Do I Love God? I've not heard it. Um, it's a TikTok song. I'm going to I can't from let TikTok. Me tell, it let was, me tell you it's so beautiful. What song? Stumsy. Planet by oh, I love that grace, song. By your Do you know another song that's getting me grace. heavy? Um, um, what's it called? Burner Boy Apology. I, mean, oh, I, I love that. All. Like, that song. I love no, that. but that will make me cry. No, it's not cry, but it makes me feel things. Me when I feel the boy blinded strongly. by your grace in the middle of the night and I'm about to sleep, and especially when I'm alone. Baby girl, I love you, but I'm talking about when I'm alone right now and I'm thinking about blinded by your grace and I'm thinking about all the things I've been through in my Just life. I'm not good. even worthy of God's glory. I'm not even worthy to even be breathing this air right now. Do you understand? But when you now go to blinded by your grace, you just know that, man, Everything that mm. happens to mm. you That's in this life yeah. is by grace. I don't know who you worship. I don't know who you serve. But you look at some people, right? And you just know that, man, this person grace. is making it. And you're wondering, which did they actually happen? See, some people just have grace. And I think God has been really gracious. God has been really gracious. He has. Amen to that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Anyways, guys, all right now. So, Nigerian fashion stylist Yomi Kajwa has told the new crop of celebrities to respect their older, their older colleagues who made it before the advent of social media. The celebrity stylist made this known while reacting to the shutdown of some of the world's popular social media apps. This he wrote, "This should serve as a lesson to your 21st century celebrities and online business owners." You are nothing without the media. Respect those who made it to the top without social media. Um, the hashtag, the struggle is different. Mm -hmm. Now, I remember, <laughs> I remember I was talking. Now, I understand where your mom is coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm supporting you guys. <laughs> I remember when I was talking to 
My boss, to be precise. Now, speaking to Mr. Ogumbanwo, the MD of Plus TV Africa. And then we happen to be in an environment where I said, sir, whenever I see buildings like this, all these bungalows in VI, I call them old money, sir, and all that. And he said something to me. He said, most of them don't have money anymore. Mm. They're just living by their names. Mm. Do you understand? Now, he didn't even know what I took away from that conversation. But what I took away from it is that it's old money. Yes, they had money in the past. Mm. They've been able to acquire properties and, yeah. and all of that. They are living comfortably, but are they actually what they used to be? Mm. Do you understand? Now, I took that, I went back, I went to reflect on it, and I was like, to be honest, that thing that I call old money is no money. Mm. It's really, it's really not money. Mm. Not because money. if you cannot make your old money new money, then there's no there's need no for money. you to even have money. Absolutely. And you see, from your, from your take, I can bring up my take, which mm -hmm. is that if you're not evolving, mm -hmm. there's nothing to be That's proud it. of. Yeah. And this, this, this guy's thing is very like, you know, those people, you know these mm. people that used to do local champion? <laughs> That's what this I is, local know, champion. Yeah. Because best believe, yeah, that the world <laughs> of our good... the movie industry. Wow, 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 wow! Wow, wow. That hurts. But it's Toto Dike in Hollywood now. It's Toto Dike is still winning. Hey. Okay, um... <laughs> My head just hurt. It just got heavy. Um, what was I even saying? Lord. Okay. So, <laughs> um, I Come think on. that the world is getting digital. And if you have the capacity, the ability, and you're able and capable of creating something that pays, that's relevant, that's influential in the social media space, kudos to you. If it's your beauty, your beauty is so beautiful. You're so beauty that you're attracting people and they're actually listening to what you're doing. Do it if it's easy. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Kudos to you for doing that. If it's that you're talking, that you're funny, you have a personality, you like your skits, you like to dance, whatever it is that's making you relevant on social media, and you've been able to harness it so much that mm. you've built a career off that, please, we can't give you kudos for that. And if you want to stay in your primitive years, because we will leave you behind, Mr. Yomi, best believe that the world is digital. Maybe we'll move to Banana <laughs> Island, and you have you your behind. own bungalow in VI. And if you want to be, mm. be, be priding yourself on what you achieved 10 years ago, that's fantastic. The only thing I want to say, if I'm just a devil's advocate and keep this conversation a bit balanced, is that you're saying that there should be more to life than just social media. Exactly. Absolutely. So yeah, even if you're doing what you're doing on social media, and you're doing it really well, kudos to you, but make sure that you have... Uh, you have balance Backup. like with life with, with, and that's just life that's advice like don't put your eggs in all in <laughs> in one thing and I, honestly speaking i even think still even when i'm trying to do the devil advocate it still doesn't make sense because all the social me media influencers i know that are doing really well have a standing on in the real life mm -hmm. like they are actually connecting and building brands that happens in person mm -hmm. so i don't know what he's on about i mean honest. i feel like this makes no sense because even organizations can shut down yeah <laughs> some organizations uh, no money and they close their gates so yeah, everybody be going exactly. and that's the end and that's exactly. the same thing about social Without media doing but the thing with social media is that it can never shut down forever yeah. we have moved to a stage where we are like we are digital we're like, we are di like we can't go back we are only going forward are you trying to shame them <laughs> so, because social media you sometimes feel like I want to form um, see, it, I knew I knew that before I shake another table wait wait before you shake a table let me just say my last one and I'll let you speak the fact that social media went offline six hours whatever I already knew in my heart of heart people are going to come and start saying Beach. motivational speaking kini please yes, life is going to continue to be media. digital forget it's, about it it has gone digital yeah, and you cannot go back uh, okay so i've been advised not to shake the table why hey, please should no. i shake it shake, shake it why not which is why my atafu is doing better than yomi kajwa anyways let's move what to another <laughs> <laughs> but where's the line? Hmm? But where's the line? There's no line now. Where's ah. the line? There's no line. There's a lot of people. I have a friend that does make. She's a makeup artist, whatever. Yeah. And she is not on social media. This baby doesn't even know. Because we know when that thing plays, everybody on everybody in the party starts doing the yeah. dance and stuff. Mm -hmm. This baby is so disconnected to social media that she doesn't even know the dance. And she's a makeup artist, and she gets her jobs. Forget about it. Until she was looking for her house, and then she was like, she found houses from talking to people, because she does everything in real life. And then when she got sick and tired, she went online, and she found the most amazing house, blah, blah, blah. And this babe told me something. Yeah? She was like, babe, I've been thriving and doing really well without social media. But now she cannot imagine what it would be like if she added it. So you cannot take out one 
You can't replace one with the with other. other. It's good to just blend everything blend together. Everything together. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guys, we have another segment because, of course, we're running out of time. But, yes, we have another segment for you guys. So, Atsisi Eko said, I think we single people should meet somewhere and choose each other. Do you know uh, Challenge Ibado? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to go to Ibado <laughs> to meet each other. So, maybe we should also come to Challenge hey. Ibado and let's sing. Challenge people. a place. Yeah. Yes, now. Nah. Oh. Hey. Challenge is in Ibadan. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay. I was like, is that uh, okay. correct? Okay, okay. so let me just put it like this. Let us all meet at Lekki Roundabout. Right. <laughs> right. Let us all meet. Why, like, is the name as, of, why is the name of a place challenge? I don't uh, understand. Uh, uh, did you not hear this song? Yeah, there's one particular song. I ain't cool. show my body, ja. It was Latin that said that right. thing. There's yes. a place called Bodija yeah, right, in Ibadan, right? right? And Zata right. said, Ibadan, Shema Bodija. Like, will you fight to the deaf man? Like, are you not <laughs> man to right. be fight? Oh, do you Bodija? Mm. So Ibadan, Shema Bodija. So it's just like, like that type of, yeah, um, yeah, yeah they, you know, it's, it's metaphoric. Yeah, no, let's go and pick ourselves. Right? Let's go. Are you single? Yes, no. Are you single? No, he's... If you tell me how it goes, I'm not so, sure. so we'll tell you the venue. Oh, it's only that we'll go there. The okay, you whisper something. Huh? Hmm? Sir? Okay. okay. The rest of us will be fine. Yes, of us. Are, we are very, very okay. All right, okay. so Aviv said, can you date someone that doesn't like kissing, as in the fine kissing girls? Never. Never, please. Never. All about the tongue. <laughs> in fact, if you don't like it, they lost. Never. <laughs> Sometimes I see if my lips very swollen. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's what she likes. Huh? Let me bust your head. I don't, I don't do anything in this city. I don't do anything. So it's not, if you have seen this one, maybe you must go beat me. Hey. No, no, maybe when you travel, then you get back. Uh -huh, maybe that one. That one, oh, I hey, hey, oh my hey. god. Even then, it doesn't give smell that long, so I don't know what give you're talking about. You undo your own back. Get out. So we did this yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Too late. <laughs> you did the exact same thing. Same All right, so a big daddy. Another sign of poverty is traveling with your toothbrush. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's fair. That makes no, no sense. That what do you mean that you just buy another toothbrush there? Uh, no, no, no. What, if, what if it's inconvenient? Like, what if I don't know where I'm going? What if you like, didn't like a particular type? Of, like me, now I like smokers toothbrush. In fact, this guy, do you know that this guy actually is a real poverty? Yes. Oh, this you is know, it. Because poverty he was talking about like levels to toothbrushes. Yeah? yeah. Like the most expensive kind of toothbrush is electric, and people carry that stuff around, around them. Yeah. So it's because you you spend your money on Paco toothbrush <laughs> that you can now buy. It seems like I have small money. I want to you know, like, I grew up have something. so That's much boy. on um smokers toothbrush because I remember my mom yeah. always gets that white and brown one, you know that classic toothbrush now. Huh? My mom was always here, so I grew up on it. So if my toothbrush is too soft, I don't even like it. Mm. So it has to be that hard, like it's for it. So what is that? That explains it. That explains because um, my oh. what? Mm -mm, talk now, no now. Yeah, oh, talk. No. That is what. That is no. what. You, know, you, like, suff you are suffering. You're just so comfortable with each other because every morning you suffer your mother all day, man. <laughs> The one I hear you about, she do. I, I want to eat you. I don't like soft toothbrush. I cannot stand it. I feel like my mouth is not clean if I use a soft toothbrush. Yes, if you don't suffer, you don't know. <laughs> Oh, wow. it's not hard, it's my sister, it is a grind. <laughs> eh? See, nothing good comes. Aye, that is, see, that's why the, that's, this frustration. In the morning already, when you wake up, you fight. Mama, you're guy. fighting for survival. But that is the reason I don't have a bad breath. I'm not getting we it. Are all, you, we don't have bad breaths here. None of, I don't know anybody that has I'm bad so breaths. So you yeah, normal toothbrush, you first. What about you? I don't like yeah, hard, just, I can't take it. Me, why? No, she said that one is medium. medium. Yeah, medium. Soft, yeah, no, nobody like, can nobody, use soft. Like, now. Like, I give you a baby. That doesn't brush. Yeah. You're the only soft one. I'm talking about very soft. But can you use medium? Can you use normal? The normal one. <laughs> I have the normal one. one. I have three. Huh? <laughs> brushing your teeth no, like no. brushing out. I don't even know that's very good for you, is it? That's not good. No, no, bleeding, 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 bleeding. no, no, you know, don't you not say she go like this. She's like, you know, 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 you
Uh, let's just say health bikini that you wanna. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You also want to teach them how to scrub. What was I say? And then when we finish, we teach them how to lotion their bodies. See, as please, well. some people, please. When you want to bath, there. just raise well, your hand like this. Well, eh, see, that like advice. this. Give that best. Is it easy? Uh, if there's any song, you should be singing when you're taking a shower. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah! Ah, Hallelujah! The song finishes. <laughs> Don't stop scrubbing till the song finishes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys. All right, so our bio says, those who cry on voice notes, what do you do if you didn't record? I record it and cry. With your cry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what okay. that. If I'm feeling, if I'm, if I'm tearing up, <coughs> I, it won't stop. I will keep on tearing up. Does, does my tears last only for the voice, voice notes duration? Notes true, what if you've done a voice note for five minutes and you've poured out your heart and then you now found out that after the five minutes... I'll my heart again. Yeah, but it will not be the same. But it won't be the, be the same. same. <laughs> I'm on the moment me, I tried to send you a voice again. note. See, uh -huh. I've never been a man who's ashamed of crying. I've cried several times. Do you understand? Okay. I've showed emotions. I'm very emotional. Yeah. See, uh, there's a way that my girlfriend rewards me that. How can you do this, baby? Uh, do you understand? Yeah. I will, so I will definitely cry. If I need to there cry, we need to go and tell some backward people in our newsroom. Yesterday, yesterday we went to have some conversation, and then they were like, I was, he was like, Oh, the guy just in touch with his feminine side. I'm like, That's how we like it. And I was like, No, I can't be in touch with my feminine side. Yeah. I'm like, See, it's 2020, like, we've left that kind of nasty, fragile, Why does crime masculinity. Even have to be feminine? No, no, that's not what we're talking mm -hmm. about. I'm not saying that my, um, feminine is um, tears now. Okay. I'm not saying that feminine side where you're in touch because I mean that's what it is when it comes to gender um, attributed characters is mm. that we find feminism we fem feminine, that. feminine okay. more yeah. softer, more in tune with your emotions, all that kind of stuff. Mm. And we want somebody who has that emotional intelli um, intellect that's empathetic, that's softer on the side, especially mm. with us, you know, when you're. Of course. Anyway, let's go to Bio Pillow. We said fight is for tall people, short people should be using tea bags. Uh, uh, uh. Why so angry? Uh, uh. I think it's where we should wrap up. Yeah, I Please. think so too. What's the meaning of I'm that? Offended. Pillow fight is for short people. It's for tall people. Uh -huh. And short people should be using tea bags. <laughs> so you should not do pillow. She isn't empty I'm average high school. What are you going to do? Don't see. Somebody said they felt my in my ears already. They felt my catch or something. Somebody has already said it. But do you know, see that I'm average, I'm average height in Asia, though? Mm? Yeah, I'm average yeah. height in Asia. Another continent. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is all up for me today. But thanks for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one, and on our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applaus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can <laughs> you feel my calm down now. You can also watch Tea Time on Out TV and of course in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co anchor. If I am I, and of course, Neymar, you know, for keeping the view with me. And of course, the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa City Time. My name is Ife Oshikeye. Let's go.